What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some breaking interesting news. As four division world champion Mexican superstar Bassa, who is currently the undefeated, undisputed super middleweight world champion superstar Saul Canelo Alvarez, as expected, has decided to bypass going up to cruiserweight to take on Mukubu for Mukubu's uh, WBC title to become a five division world champion. Now Canelo Alvarez plans to become undisputed at light heavyweight after he witnessed, as predicted, unified light heavyweight undefeated world champion, Russian superstar boxer, Arta Better Beef, when he defended his titles. Arta Better Beef, he holds the WBC and the IBF light heavyweight titles, okay? Arta Better Beef, I believe it's 18 wins, no loss, no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. Uh, and Arta Better Beef, he beat Marcus Brown defending his titles. So with that said, he didn't look that well, right? Uh, he didn't look like the Arta Better Beef of, of, of the past. He looked vulnerable. Uh, Arta Better Beef, he looked slow. He looked predictable. Uh, his power, you know, he wore down Marcus Brown after a while, but Marcus Brown was turning him. He looked slow. He looked lethargic. Uh, and many fighters after that fight predicted that expect Canelo Alvarez to go up to light heavyweight and look to become undisputed there because there seems to be some vulnerability at light heavyweight. And right on cue, Canelo Alvarez has informed that he will bypass the fight with Makubu at cruiserweight. And now Canelo Alvarez is looking to fight Joe Smith soon. Joe Smith has a fight coming up, I believe. Uh, Joe Smith holds the WBO title, okay, at light heavyweight. So he's looking to fight Joe Smith, his first fight at light heavyweight. Uh, why? Because Canelo Alvarez, he held the WBO title after he beat uh, former two-time light heavyweight world champion superstar boxer Sergey Krusha Kovalev. So he has a direct path to the light heavyweight mandatory position. Why? Because that's the way the WBO operates, okay? If you hold their title, uh, they will, um, and when you move up in weight, they will automatically push you in front of the head of the line and allow you to become the mandatory for whomever holds the belt at the next weight class you're choosing to go up in. And so since he's undisputed at super middleweight, okay, uh, the path for him to go up and fight Joe Smith for the WBO title is pretty simple, okay? It's easy to uh, come by. So with that said, uh, he's going to now go up and fight Joe Smith Jr., right, for Joe Smith's WBO title. With that said, Joe Smith, I believe he has a fight coming up, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, uh, after that, Canelo Alvarez is going to petition to become Joe Smith is mandatory. Joe Smith is 27 wins, three losses, no draws, 21 wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age, six foot tall with a 76 inch arm reach. Uh, he's going to face Caleb Johnson uh, J January 15th. And then after that, Canelo Alvarez is going to look to fight Joe Smith Jr. Okay. Uh, Joe Smith Jr. Uh, has a lot of power. Obviously, he's known for his power and he's known for knocking. Um, uh, Bernard Hopkins out the ring, okay? Uh, remember when he, uh, you know, uh, famously knocked Bernard Hopkins out the ring. Now, Joe Smith, he lost to Arthur Better Beef. You know, uh, he's lost some some big fights in his career. You know, uh, I mean, Dimitri Bevel, excuse me, not Arthur Better Beef. He lost to Dimitri Bevel. Uh, he lost to Sullivan Barrera, you know, uh, but he's a, he's a, a tough customer. Uh, he has power in both hands. You know, uh, he's very strong. He's very big. You know, uh, and it's gonna, that's going to be a challenge for Canelo Alvarez as far as his power. But Joe Smith is not the most skilled guy from New York. Uh, Joe Smith is, you know, uh, a power puncher. Uh, and Canelo Alvarez will find a way to beat Joe Smith because he has flaws on the defensive end. Okay? And so with that said, you know, um, Canelo Alvarez plans on fighting Joe Smith. And then Canelo Alvarez plans on fighting... Um, Arthur Better Beef is being reported. So he's looking to fight Joe Smith Jr. Then he's looking to fight Arthur Better Beef. So it looks like Canelo Alvarez is going to attempt to fight Joe Smith Jr. in that May area. Cinco de Mayo weekend is when Canelo Alvarez comes back. Now, uh, <clears throat> you know, Joe Smith is definitely going to take that opportunity should he beat Caleb Johnson 
or whoever wins, Caleb Johnson or Joe Smith. He's, Canelo Alvarez is going to be the mandatory. And, uh, you know, that's going to be the biggest payday of their career. So they're definitely going to uh, jump at the opportunity to to be able to fight uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez for that massive payday, okay? Uh, and then, you know, in September, he'll more than likely look to fight Arthur Better Beef. Uh, Arthur Better Beef, again, is uh, 17 wins. I said, I think I said 18. 17 wins, no loss, no draw. 17 wins by way of knockout. 36 years of age, 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch arm reach. Like I said, he just defeated Marcus Brown via knockout. Uh, that was back December 17th of this year. So uh, then after that, you can expect Canelo Alvarez to look to fight uh, Dimitri Bevel at the end of the year for his WBA title and look to become uh, undefeated, undisputed champion in two separate weight classes, okay? The, the path is there for Canelo Alvarez and history, okay? He's the first Mexican-born fighter to hold all four major sanction belts and be the undisputed champion and the lineal champion, the Ring Magazine title. And he can do so very well at light heavyweight. Okay, seven pounds north. He's fought there before. Okay, uh, and that'll uh, give Canelo Alvarez the uh, ability to, you know, uh, grow into cruiserweight because now he's just going 15 pounds north of his 175 pound limit. So more than likely he'll come in about 185 for uh, his fights at light heavyweight. So um, with that said, as I stated, Canelo Alvarez is not going to lose. He's not going to lose to Joe Smith. He's not going to lose to Arthur Better Beef, and he's not going to lose to Dimitri Bevel. Uh, I believe the biggest challenge for him is going to be Dimitri Bevel, who's undefeated, because Dimitri Bevel has boxing ability. He can move around the ring. Uh, he's he's quick for his size. He's agile. You know, he's not truly a light heavyweight himself. He's like a super middleweight who campaigns at light heavyweight simply because he just couldn't get an opportunity that he was looking for. So um, you got Dimitri Bevel, you know, uh, That'll be his toughest challenge. And Canelo Alvarez will be undisputed in two separate weight classes. History will be made. That's what he's chasing, history. And the opportunity has presented itself. And now Canelo Alvarez is going to challenge himself by um, going up to 175. Now, again, some people going to view this as Canelo Alvarez sees an opening, as he does. You know, uh, it's strategic, as it is. But these are still risky fights because all of these guys are definitely bigger than Canelo Alvarez. They're stronger than Canelo Alvarez. And they have a lot of power. All three guys have uh, power, okay? Dimitri Bivol has power. Arthur Better Beef for sure has power. And Joe Smith for sure has power. So, uh, and can, and they have arm reach advantages over Canelo Alvarez, okay? So they just, they have physical advantages over Canelo Alvarez that he's going to have to overcome. I think this road to becoming undisputed at light heavyweight is going to be more difficult than Canelo Alvarez's um, uh, road to uh, uh, undisputed at uh, uh, super uh, middleweight, okay? I think that, you know, uh, Caleb Plant, um, Billy Joe Saunders and Kalen Smith, they're not on the level of Arthur Better Beave. I think Arthur Better Beave beats all three of those guys. I think Arthur um, Dimitri Beevil beats all three of those guys. And I think Joe Smith possibly beats all three of those guys. Uh, Canelo Alvarez, 57 wins, one loss, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, 31 years of age, five for eight with a 70 inch arm reach. So Joe Smith is going to have a four inch height advantage with a he got 76 inch arms, so he got a six inch arm reach advantage, and he has the power advantage. Okay, uh, uh, you know Arthur Better Beaver is the smaller of the guys. You know um, he is uh, five foot eleven and a half with a 74 inch arm reach, so he's equivalent to just about Caleb Plant and uh, and uh, Billy Joe Saunders. And then you and that leads you into Dimitri Beaver, uh, who's he has a, a very wiry frame. You know out of the guys. You know, so uh, that's where, you know, his toughest challenge is going to lie. So Dimitri Bevel, you know, uh, 19 wins, no loss, no draws. Uh, he is uh, uh, 31 wins, uh, 31 years of age, uh, six feet tall with a 72 inch arm reach. So Dimitri Bevel is a, as a better athlete. Uh, he's just slightly taller than um, Arthur Better Beef, but he has a shorter arm reach than Arthur Better Beef. So with that said, Dimitri Bevel. You know, uh, he's just a better athlete. He's a better mover, better pure boxer. But again, I still think Canelo Alvarez, he beats Dimitri Bevo as well. Okay, so uh, this is Canelo Alvarez's opportunity to create history. Okay, Canelo Alvarez is looking to become 
the greatest Mexican fighter in the history of the sport of boxing. And uh, this is another accomplishment for Canelo Alvarez to, you know, attempt to achieve that. Okay, uh, this is the this is a fight where Canelo. This is a weight class he become undisputed uh, uh, in light heavyweight, and undisputed at cruise at super middleweight, and then he could go with the cruiserweight. So imagine if Canelo Alvarez becomes undisputed at super middleweight becomes undisputed light heavyweight and he beats the best there now i still want to see him fight david benavidez because i think that david benavidez was the best super middleweight in the world okay and uh he didn't get that fight um but these are still great accomplishments on the part of canelo alvarez and uh i think that canelo alvarez will win you know uh all of these fights but again these are not cherry pick fights by no stretch of the imagination and so uh these guys land one punch on Canelo Alvarez with this weight class, and that could be all she wrote. So, uh, but imagine if Canelo Alvarez becomes undisputed in two separate weight classes, goes up to cruiserweight, and becomes a champion at cruiserweight. Well, he's a five division world champion at that point in time, and undisputed in two separate weight classes. That speaks volumes. So that will solidify him. So let's see how this unfolds. But it was very predictable. You can see this coming a mile away. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Bud Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bud Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to new media shout out to black media roll make sure you like and share the videos that's all I got for y'all peace this is Amanda the real deal Serrano and you're watching blue blood sports TV